Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Surbhi Sharma. Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Thursday, the 19th of March. Coronavirus cases in India jumped to more than 164 dead recorded in Punjab. Pakistan resorts to unprovoked firing in India's Jammu and Kashmir. And U.S. envoy Khalil Zad urges Afghanistan Taliban to begin prisoner releases. And now for all the details. The total number of novel coronavirus cases in India rose to over 160 on Thursday, with Western Maharashtra being the worst affected province. A 70-year-old man who had returned from Germany via Italy to capital Delhi passed away in Punjab province, taking the total number of death due to coronavirus in the country to four. The total number of novel coronavirus cases in India rose to more than 165 on Thursday after a record number of fresh cases reported from various parts of the country. Western Maharashtra province continued to have the highest number of cases among all provinces with the tally to 49 including foreign nationals. With cases increasing rapidly on a daily basis in India, air and rail travel has taken a hit in wake of the coronavirus pandemic with the railways cancelling over 150 trains. Most board examinations and entrance tests in the country have been postponed. India temporarily also banned entry of passengers from 36 countries. Meanwhile, Indian stocks plunged nearly 7% on Thursday, in line with the Asian peers as panic over the coronavirus pandemic cripples businesses globally. Indian rupee hit a fresh record low of 75 against the dollar. Crisis is there and people have lost confidence. They don't know how it will and when it will end. So that's the reason that we are witnessing fall in the capital markets every day. The virus, which originated in China, has spread quickly around the globe, killing more than 8,000 people and battering economic activity. Pakistan once again violated ceasefire and continued firing on Indian positions along the border in Punch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Thursday. Indian troops retaliated and gave a befitting reply. Pakistani troops have been continuously violating ceasefire and targeting civilian areas from the past few days. Pakistan troops yet again violated the ceasefire by firing unprovoked along the line of control in Poonch district of India's Jammu and Kashmir on Thursday. Pakistan initiated unprovoked ceasefire violation by small arms firing and shelling with mortars along LOC in Dekwar sector of Poonch. According to residents, the firing began at around 10.45 am local time. Indian troops retaliated and gave a befitting reply. और ये इंडियन ने पोस्टों को टारगेट करते थे। कार दो दिन पहले यहाँ पर शाहपुर करने यहाँ पर भी फायरिंग हो चुकी है। मगर आज दगवार सेक्टर में पाकिस्तान की ओर से बड़ी हैवी फायरिंग चल रही है। बहुत ज़्यादा फायरिंग आप सुन भी सकते हैं। और लोग अपने अपने घरों में छुपे हुए हैं। वायलेट Tensions between India and Pakistan have escalated since New Delhi revoked the special status of Jammu and Kashmir last year. Moving on, several doctors in illegally occupied region of Gilgit Baltistan held meetings with health authorities over low salary issues but to no avail, forcing nine specialists to resign from their government service against injustices and discrimination. Gilgit Baltistan, a territory under Pakistan's illegal occupation, has been neglected by successive stooge governments working at Islamabad's behest. Recently, nine medical specialists of the Daimar District Headquarters Hospital in Gilgit Baltistan's Jila City tendered their resignations over authorities' failure to increase their salaries. Later, 
Addressing a press conference in Gilgit Press Club, Dr. Mustafa Shah and others said the administration was reluctant to resolve the issues. गवर्नमेंट की रिट को कायम करना ये आपकी जिम्मेदारी है हमारी जिम्मेदारी नहीं है रही बात जो डॉक्टर्स हैं वहां पे जाकर ड्यूटी कर रहे हैं यहां अगर आप एक यूनिफॉर्म पॉलिसी नहीं देंगे और पिक एंड चूज करेंगे तो डॉक्टरों में फ्रस्ट्रेशन बढ़ जाएगी According to the joint resignation by the doctors sent to Gilgit Baltistan Chief Minister Hafiz Ur Rahman the health department discriminated against the medical specialist in payment of salaries This said they won't hold any talks with the government representatives until a notification was issued accepting their demand. In is from Afghanistan United States has asked the government of Afghanistan and the Taliban to begin prisoner releases as soon as possible adding that the global coronavirus pandemic is adding to the urgency. The US and the Taliban last month signed a deal which included the clause of prisoners release by both the afghan government and the taliban us special envoy zalme khalilzad asked the afghan government and the taliban to begin prisoner releases as soon as possible adding that the global coronavirus pandemic is adding to the urgency khalilzad in a series of tweets on wednesday said the united states would like to see prisoner releases begin as soon as possible in line with the us taliban agreement while face to face meetings are best he said coronavirus and the resulting travel restrictions likely requires virtual engagement now khalilzad urged both sides to avoid provocative media statements The US envoy also noted that negotiators from both sides can work together and focus on technical steps for freeing the detainees. Taliban insurgents signed a The US and the Taliban on February 29 signed a deal which aimed at ending the nearly 19-year Afghan war. The accord called for the release by the Afghan government of up to 5000 Taliban prisoners as well as the freeing of 1000 Afghan government captives ahead of intra-Afghan talks. Afghan, Afghan President Ashraf Ghani, who was not involved in the deal, initially resisted freeing any prisoners, but later agreed to free 1,500 last week, and the rest after peace talks were finalized and Taliban violence had ceased. But the peace process is now again into crisis as Kabul has again delayed the release of the first Taliban prisoners. Thousands of Afghan refugees have started returning home from Iran as the number of coronavirus cases in the country rise. According to officials, fear of contracting the virus plus loss of jobs and economic opportunities in Iran sending Afghans home. Afghan refugees are heading home as the number of coronavirus cases in Iran rise, Afghan officials said on Wednesday. Sayyid Ibrahim Hejazi, representative of refugee affairs at the Afghan embassy in Iran's Tehran said, fear of contracting the virus plus loss of jobs and economic opportunities in Iran are sending Afghans home. He said the number of Afghan living daily was between 9000 to 15000. Amar bazgasht ba tawajjuh be in ke chand barabar shode, umde tarin dalilish bahs haras az ابتلا به کرونا هست و عمده ترین دلیل دیگه اینه که این افغان هایی که مشغول به کار بودن با توجه به کسادی کار و بازار اینا به خاطر عدم اشتغال یا بیکاری برگشتن و با توجه به چند برابر شدن عودت دولت جمهوری اسلامی افغانستان از این موضوع نگران هست افغانستان ها سو فار کنفرم 22 کرونا وایرس کیسز with concerns growing particularly over the danger of infections among the thousands of Afghans crossing the border with Iran, one of the worst affected countries. The country has established five quarantine centers in Herat and Nimroz provinces as part of its efforts to slow the spread of COVID-19. In news from Nepal, people of Nepal are rushing to fuel stations and cooking gas depots to stock on enough fearing shortage in case of a coronavirus lockdown creating a situation of panic nepal has been faring well in its fight against coronavirus
As compared to other countries with only one positive case of coronavirus reported so far. Long queues outside petrol pumps and gas stations have become a regular phenomenon in Nepal's capital Kathmandu. Markets have been witnessing a shortage of fuel as people have started stockpiling the essentials amid fears of a possible coronavirus lockdown. Kathmandu city has started to see a distribution crisis as consumers are panicking and rushing to buy the cooking gas cylinders. People fear that the government might halt imports from India and other countries if there is a rise in positive COVID-19 cases. Local authorities and the Nepal Oil Corporation said the regular supply of the essentials will continue without any hurdles. You say अब के कोरोना भाइरस ले गर्दा खेरि विदेश तिर अब खान पा छैन भनेर सबै आत्या भन्या छ अनि त्यसपछि नाका बन्द होला अनि हामी खान नपाउला भनेर मान्छेहरुलाई चाहिँ डर त्रास छ के अनि अब के नपाइने हो कि अब अब बन्द गर्दा खेरि खान नपाउने हो कि भनेर सबै आत्तिनु भएको छ त्यही भएर हो Nepal has been faring well in its fight against coronavirus as compared to other countries. So far, the Himalayan nation has confirmed only one case of infection in January who has been completely cured of the infection. Authorities in India's Jammu and Kashmir have started working towards the beautification of summer capital Srinagar and the main tourist attractions in the city under the Smart City project. The project aims to develop Srinagar and get it exposed through various dimensions of economic systems. Authorities in India's Jammu and Kashmir have started working towards the beautification of Srinagar city and its main attractions, including the iconic Dal Lake and houseboats under the Smart City mission. Color coordinating the famous houseboats cleaning of dal lake smart and intelligent traffic lighting system for smooth vehicular movement are some of the moves under the smart city mission locals while expressing joy over the initiative said this is a great step by the authorities as it will not only help the tourism sector but also their day to day life we are bahut acha step hai isme bahut acha matlab aisa hai ki जैसे यहाँ से कस्टमर आते हैं उनको ये रोड शोड सब जुटना भी है अगर ब्यूटीफुल मिलेगा तो ये हम लोगों के लिए अच्छा है द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज लॉन्च स्मार्ट सिटी मिशन प्रोग्राम विद एन एम टू डिवेलप द सिटी ऑफ श्रीनगर एंड गेट इट एक्सपोज थ्रू वेरियस डायमेंशन ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सिस्टम जैसा आपने कहा कि हेरिटेज है एक यूएस पी है टूरिज्म पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू जितने भी यहाँ पर टूरिज्म टूरिस्ट आते हैं वो तो सबसे पहले श्रीनगर में ही तो लैंड करते हैं और श्रीनगर का जहाँ तक सवाल है और चीज़ों के अलावा जो डल की खासियत है ये एक टूरिस्ट के लिए एक बहुत बड़ी अट्रैक्शन है उसको अपने उसमें जो इसकी जो शान रफ्तार बहाल की जाए इसके जरिए स्मार्ट सिटी के जरिए ये तो एक अच्छी बात है टूरिज्म इज़ वन ऑफ द मेन सोर्स ऑफ इनकम फॉर लोकल्स इन श्रीनगर The government of India with such initiatives is trying to attract more and more visitors to the valley boosting the industry for locals. Well that's the way it was in South Asia this evening before we conclude the top stories once again. Coronavirus cases in India jumped to more than 164th death recorded in Punjab. Pakistan resorts to unprovoked firing in India's Jammu and Kashmir. And US special envoy Zalmay Khalilzad urges Afghanistan Taliban to begin prisoners releases. Now our viewers can watch the show on southasianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com/sasianewsline and follow us on Twitter at sasianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night.